Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Flanagan, I'm a Caffrey Beef and Sheep Advisor based in Monoskin County Antrim. Today I just want to share with you a short presentation outlining a field drainage system called gravel tunnelling. This method of draining has been about for about 40 or 50 years or maybe even longer and was very popular in the 80s when there was good drainage grants available, especially in counties Fermanagh and counties Armagh. Before we get into uh, any more detail, we'll have a, a look at the, the main machines. And generally, the main machines used in this operation are a mould plow with a stone hopper. And this actual stone hopper with the mould plow is at the key part of the whole operation and has the added uh, advantage of acting as a subsoiler as it was, as it, when it's been pulled through the soil. Generally, this stone hopper and mould plow is pulled with a track machine, for example, a track marshal, marshal as seen in the photograph. This has the added benefit again of low ground pressure on maybe variable soil conditions. A stone cart is also needed, plus a machine to load the stones into the stone cart, for an example, a telehandler or a shovel. Next, we just look at the collector drains. And this is really the first step in the whole process. The, the, the key to a good uh, gravel tunneling system really relies on, on good collector drains. So obviously the first stage before the collector drains would go in will be obviously to get the open drain or the shuck that runs to the stream or the natural water course, obviously get that cleaned out first. The second stage is installing these collector drains before the gravel moulds are made. Um, the key really to the whole drainage system is, is the removal of that excess water from the field. And these collector drains do that successfully with a minimum of 100 mil pipe used in the bottom of the drain, which is topped up with 35 to 40 mil clean stones. You can see this diagram in the slides. Ideally, the gravel um, mole or the mole, the mole channels want to run at a slight angle to the collector drains, and this allows uh, an even quicker flow of water to get away from the fields. In this simple slide, we can see a, a cross section of a collector drain uh, with a 100 mil pipe at the bottom, and you can see the mole channel running across that. The mole plow has a torpedo-like foot, um, which is about 75 to 80 mil wide. And this is dragged through the soil about 450 to 500 mils deep, and normally about a meter and a half apart. This forms a channel, and immediately after the channel is formed, stone from the stone hopper uh, runs down the um, the gravel tunnel machine into the, the drain and immediately fills that drain with gravel and this allows the water to flow into the collector drains which then flows into the main drain. Just looking now then simply at the benefits of this gravel tunnel system. It generally is a more permanent system compared to the normal mold drains without the gravel. We have done gravel tunneling before up to 20 years ago and they're still going strong and then they're still draining successfully. So due to the inclusion of the gravel of the 10 to 15 mil stone chips in the drain, this method uh, can cope with unstable soils, stony subsoil and even steep slopes as the gravel maintains the shape and structure of the mould to allow access water to escape and then to be drained away. Short clip we can see one of the other benefits of this track machine, this track marshal, is the front blade, which can be used to level up any humps in the field or to allow the mould to operate at a, at a consistent depth. Um, people are asking, can we graze after this? And yes, you can. Once the grass starts to grow up between the moulds, um, there's no problem of grazing with sheep or with other light stock. It's not going to do any damage really. What you want to avoid is um, heavy stock, which may close in 
the tops of the moulds, which will will restrict the drying out process. But no, you can graze after this this operation. Here we can see just a close up picture of the stone hopper being filled with the the stone cart with 10 to 15 mil clean quarry stone and just a small tip and, and very important um, is using clean stone and if possible don't load up the stones off the field but use a, a concrete loading area if you can or a clean hardcore area and this is to avoid clods and soil getting mixed with the stone and then eventually it could block the mould plow if this does happen there is a, a risk then of, of a boil up where the water can't escape coming down the slope of the field, coming to that blockage and then boil up. Some people will ask the question, when is the best time of the year to do this operation? As you can see from the photographs and the videos in the presentation, the grazing platform grazing area of the field has been disturbed quite a bit. So ideally the best time is after second cut in July and up to September. This avoids those peak, gro the peak growth periods of May and June. You can see in the clip that every other drain here installed is having an outlet into the main drain. And this provides maximum drainage uh, in round them areas of the main drain. With all these land improvement projects on farm, the cost does have to be considered and the overall cost of these drainage projects can be expensive. So the return on investment needs to be calculated by the farmer and it can vary greatly between farm to farm. The cost shown here in this example is based on a one hectare plot, which is roughly square in shape with a gentle slope and has a good fall down to a 100 metre main drain. So we look at the figures here, the cost of cleaning out that main drain, um, the digger man working at 50 metres an hour, at 30 pounds an hour. Then the next step in the project would be collector drains. And for that given area of a hectare, the contractors which we got our prices from is assuming about 250 metres of collector drain would be needed. And with a four inch or 100 mil pipe at the bottom with 65 ton of four 40 mil stone, plus the labor then on top of that of 130 a meter. The last step then in the project will be the gravel and tunneling. And again, for that given area, 75 ton of the 10 or 15 mil stone chips will be needed at 13 pound a ton. Then add on a labor price per hectare of 900 pounds. And for this given area, the total price comes in at just over 3,000 pounds per hectare. Now, we do have to remember that these figures are local figures. And for every farmer, he needs to do his own homework and do his own pricing to get a more accurate project price based on his own farm. So that concludes the short presentation on gravel tunneling. If you want more information on drainage systems, please contact your local advisor or go onto the website. And there has been a few technical articles has been uploaded recently and you'll get more information there on www.caffrey.ac.uk. Thank you.